guys, I wanted to show you uh, one of the cooler features of the whiteboard app on our ViewSonic boards, which is how to pull in Google Slides into the ViewSonic board. It'll automatically import them and throw them as the background of your board so you can advance through the slides and write on them and all of that. At our training session on Wednesday, we had some trouble. I had some trouble uh, getting it to work. It just stopped working for me. So I told the people that at the training session I would make this video to share with them. I'm going to go ahead and share this with everyone on that original email, the one you received this on, because I do think this is one of the cooler features of the view boards and it can be useful to whoever. I have figured out how to very quickly troubleshoot that issue and I'm going to show you how to do that as well so that you don't run into the same thing that I did and so that you can make the most out of this. The first thing that we'll want to do is make sure that whatever slides we want to pull into the ViewSonic um, board, we have those saved in some kind of folder on Google Drive. The way that the ViewSonic uh, My View Board app sort of integrates with Drive is it can be a little confusing if things aren't really sort of organized. It doesn't really matter if you're, you know, if you wanted to scroll through forever to find what you're looking for, more power to you. But for me, I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse me, on my Drive, create a folder here called View Board. This is the Google slide that I want to be importing into my board. You can see here I've just got a couple of uh, things from a lesson. You'll want to make sure that it is saved to that folder. You can do that easily by clicking move in the file section and then either creating your folder or whatever. You'll see it's already in my view board folder so we don't really need it. But before I go over there and show you what we're going to do on that screen, I just wanted to kind of reiterate that organization is really useful for this. Um, and if I'm saying that, it really means something. So we've got my folder here, view board in my drive, right? So I know where my uh, slide that I want is. I'll just show you really quickly. There it is. It's called Preterit view board in the view board folder. Let's go look at the ViewSonic board and pull it into a board. All right, so here I am at my whiteboard. Uh, to get the whiteboard open, obviously we just open the app. First thing we want to do is sign in. We talked about that on Wednesday. I'm going to click that little G at the bottom because I'm signing in with my Google uh, Jeff Coed. So I'm just going to click and go through. You may have to put your password in if you have not already done that. If it's saved with cookies, you won't have to. Okay, from here it's going to say that I'm signed in. So I'm just going to use my little menu over here to get back to the whiteboard. And now at this little, some people call these waffles, these little squares over here. If I click it, you'll see the Google Drive image, the logo up there at the top. So when I tap on that, it'll make it colored. And then I'm going to get this error message. And this is what we were running into Wednesday that we could not figure out. Um, it says enabling service error, please rebind the service again. It's basically saying that it doesn't have permission to access Google Drive. If you click okay, nothing happens. And it's very frustrating. Like we saw, you can't figure out how to get that permission going back. So let's solve that problem. If we go back to our browser, and I'm just gonna go to home to get there, back to our Chromium browser, which we were just at. Back on the same page, it says we're signed in, but you'll notice we're not really signed into the website, we're just signed in through the board. I don't know why it is this way, but it's just a little extra complicated. So now I wanna sign in to the board. I just clicked that. Uh oh. Yeah, I just clicked it and I clicked Google and it went right back into it. So right now I'm gonna click right here where it says whiteboard. So this will open the whiteboard in the browser itself, not just the whiteboard app. The browser-based whiteboard is not as good as the app. It's missing a lot of the tools. I don't really recommend it, but it will help us get the Google Drive communicating with our app again. So it says here, finding error. This is the same message we saw, basically. You're going to have to rebind your cloud service, which is the Google Drive service for us. I'm going to click OK, but this time, instead of doing nothing, it'll take us to a sign-in page. Now I'm signing in through the Google Drive. Click my name one more time. You may have to put in your password. And now it says, this will allow my view board to see, edit, create, delete all your Google Drive files. I'm going to allow that. And now we are all set. Again, this whiteboard is not as good. It's within the Chromium browser. You can also access this online through your computer. Uh, it's not as good as the app, so I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to go back to my whiteboard right there. Now, if we go back up to this little waffle, Click that Google Docs image one more time. 
Now we don't get an error message and we're good to go. So we're gonna go to our magic box that I talked about on Wednesday, we looked at a lot. And now we'll notice that there's a Google Docs logo right here that looked just like that one. It's the second one over. Now when I tap it, I can actually access my drive. Uh, I'm gonna double tap on my drive because these are our shared drives. You'll recognize some of the Jeff Coed drives that we are all part of, shared with me, starred. I'm going to my drive. And uh, if we scroll down, you'll see this view board folder I made earlier. Like I said, you could just, you know, endlessly scroll through things to find stuff, but it's a little, a little disorganized and hard to do, and it'll organize everything based on alphabetical order. So it's not exactly the same as when you're interfacing with Drive on a computer. So instead, let's use folders to our advantage. We have that view board folder from earlier, and here we have our preterite board. So I'm gonna go ahead and import it. You're gonna see now I have all of the slides as individual um, whiteboards. I'm just gonna tap them all, clicking import right there. And now it has put the slide as the background of the board. So now we can advance through by tapping and we can see the board. So this is a way, if you have a lot of Google Slides, this is a way to make those, bring those into the whiteboard so that now you can write on them. This will be like a locked image, kind of like when we said we we're talking about locking images, you see that little red lock right there. So it won't move around so that we can write on top of it. So I can now have a kid come up and, you know, complete the bell ringer. Just like that, right? Um, someone had a question, if we have videos on our slides, will we be able to play them? If you do it this way, you cannot play them. It's just going to bring in an image. So this is not anything here. You look, you, if you see I write on top of it, try to click it, nothing happens. Um, because it's just a picture of the slide. So that's kind of sad. But we can use the magic box and use the YouTube thing. Or you can just use the browser. You could open your slides through the browser, forget the whiteboard, forget the annotation thing, and do it that way too. That's... That's totally a valid option. So the question then comes like, how do I save this so that I can reuse it with other classes? So I have my non-annotated uh, clear slides here that have just been turned into a board, right? So I'm gonna click this little file button. I'll click the floppy disk with the pencil on it. Now I'm gonna go to my Google Drive because I wanna save it on the drive, not on the local storage here. Double tap my drive again. And if I scroll down, I'll see that same folder. I'm just gonna use the same one. You could obviously use whatever folder system works for you. And I'm gonna name this block three for third block. You can name it, you know, unit one, day two, unit one, day three, whatever it is that you wanna do. You'll see that it's gonna say this as an IWB file, which is the file system that this board uses. So we have to have it like that. Click that check mark. And now it is saved on my Google Drive, which I'll show you in a second, from the computer. Um, and you'll also see up here, Google Drive, block three, that's just telling us this file is coming from the Google Drive. It's the block three is the name of it. Let's say we were on a blank board, pretend that we're not already opening this. And we wanna open this because we've, in our prep, made our slides into board files. We can just click this open thing, which is a folder with a document in it. We can go right back to our Google Docs. Oops, my drive, scrolling down back to the view board folder. And now you'll see block 3iwb I'm gonna click that. It will download and bring it right back up for us to use. And there it is. If we scroll through, you'll see, there it is. We're back on it. All right, so looking back from the computer screen, if we go look at our Google Drive, scroll down to that same folder. I just wanted to show you, you can see there is our file block 3iwb and that's that. That's how you get the slides to import into the whiteboard. Uh, one thing I'll say, you don't have to go through all those extra steps and get the error message and all that. You could just sign in straight off at the beginning and you'd be good to go. There you go. Hopefully that helps somebody.